morning, good morning. This is the second Sunday in which we're having a series of matches being played here at the Mac Cricket Stadium here in Delray Beach. Um, today we're going to see two matches, well three matches as a matter of fact, between the visiting New York team and uh, the Trinidad and Tobago All-Star team. With me we have the captain of the New York team and he'll introduce himself. So, yeah, my name is Jitendra Subdio. Uh, we're from New York. And this first time we're in South Florida coming out and play a T10 tournament. I think it's the first time for our guys playing a T10 tournament. None of us has ever played a T10 tournament before. Okay, well, we're going to use the international rules. I mean, no bowler can bowl more than two overs um, per bowler. But at the same time, it's just the halfway mark of the 2020. It's a quick and hasten pace game. You know, it's going to work well in South Florida. But I know for sure this is the first time you're wearing a mask at a cricket field. I can assure you of that. It's the first time you ever ever playing a wearing a mask playing cricket, and it's it's um gonna be a tough thing for wearing mask playing cricket. But for our safety, we have to wear it. Yeah, that is true. Um, is this the first time you're visiting South Florida? Yeah, this is the first time we visit South Florida. So you're traveling all the way from New York just for this game? Yeah, just for this game we travel. We travel in like Friday night. I forgot to play the T10 tournament. Oh, you, did you fly in or you drove in? No, we fly. Oh, you, you flew in. So, well, I hopefully, the, hopefully you're enjoying the South Florida. We normally say the sunny South Florida, but right now we are under um, some heavy clouds, a little threat of rain, but I don't think it should have bought um, the game today. No, it don't look so well. The, everyone, the heat, the um, the not accustomed to this heat. We can New York. We live in a, like, a bit of cold place to so come into the heat and play. So. Hope the guys get used to the weather and make the, the game a little bit excited later on. Okay, so they're up for cricket, I would imagine. So <clears throat> your aim is to win the cricket match, but at the same time is to really get a good feel of cricket because I would imagine you would have played cricket for quite some time. Yeah, it's been like since last year. No one has played any cricket. The season supposed to start like a month ago in New York, so we couldn't play due to the COVID-19. So no cricket at all in New York. And this is good for us to come out in Florida and get the opportunity to play a T10 tournament. Well, indeed, I'm going to wish you the best of luck. We're going to be doing the toss in a minute. You would have selected your 11 already. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> anything that you should expect from any special player, bowler, batting or what? No, everyone in the team is um, pretty much good. We have a uh, former U.S. Cap uh, vice captain, Karen Ganesh, off spinner. And a pretty good all-around team. Some young stars, except from um, Kevin Nazir. And, and Arun Pasad. He's a good all around though. Okay, well, hopefully they'll be able to display all of their talents here today. And I'm going to wish you the best of luck and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Batsa. We are here for the second encounter of the series of matches being played here at Max Stadium. And first, I should ask you, how are you doing today? Good, very good. And I'm um, so glad to see that, you know, like the New York teams, uh, we actually, first of all, we're going to welcome to the New York All-Star and uh, TNT All-Star. And we had like second, uh, first games on for today. And um, welcome to the international, all national local players to come and join and play and uh, show them talented for people like uh, been sitting home for the last four months. So hopefully it will be a great uh, day for them. So all protocols are in place in terms of the CDC protocols that are in place, you would have put the mask, you would have put the hand sanitizer and all the stuff in place. What we the Cricket Council hosts that thing up basically uh, pre-video and then all description, follow the online and uh, team player register prior and they know exactly what they have to do with them, code 19, rules regulations and they were already signed the waivers, all of them the players must sign the waivers on there and they been um, follow the ICC and Code 19 Cricket Council USA rules regulation today on the games. And the, also we have certified a nurse on the site. He's been watching, make sure all the rules follow. There's no rules can be, you know, uh, breaking. So Empire, we have two empires and they also know the, all the rules and regulation, all the players and our staff, they knows. And we already dis uh, descriptions, we provided to the, all the players. So we are slated for three matches today. It's a 10-10 encounter between the same teams or are we going to have additional teams? 
No, we have one international all-star is coming. Is on the uh, international uh, star. Will be coming uh, uh, second games, playing against uh, TNT. The three games, and then uh, we have three games today, and then back to back, uh, one, two, three games, and all whoever the best or uh, top winner is the champion today. Very well. Well, last week we had some rain, but play was not aborted. We have some heavy clouds banded about, but I don't think it should be any immediate threat. But just in case, we would have had um, preparations where we can have the game because the ground is well solid. Okay. I, I know that for sure. And in between, I'm sure you're going to be taking care of the players in terms of lunch and dinners. The, they haven't. Uh, we offer them all the players for masses and all uh, requirement and what they needed. Uh, there we have sanitizer and gloves and all. And plus we do have our breakfast and lunch uh, we provided. They have to pick themselves. A water bottle, they have to pick themselves, all of them as the rules and regulations. And uh, we provided all things. There are empires and referees and balls and bats and everything. So all is free for the cricket lovers. There you go. Well, Timmy, welcome to the Mac Cricket Stadium and to this series. We started last week and this week is your schedule. How are you feeling and I should say Happy New Year to you. <laughs> same to you, same to you. Um, it's good to be back out in the park playing some cricket um, while we still man, uh, maintaining our our um, distancing and stuff. Yes, yes, but you know, we, we're in our protective gear and stuff to to ensure we do our best to stay away and don't catch a virus. So, but I mean, the guys are very um, keen in coming out here to play some cricket. We haven't played any cricket in about months and, you know, all of us, we grew up playing cricket, so it's like a little child running out to the park for the first time, getting an opportunity to go outside here and hit some balls. Yes, definitely. Well, like we said, Timmy, you have hit some 47 centuries in this part of South Florida. That, that would have been done in uh, maybe the longer version, the 50 overs, 20 overs, 45 overs, let me put it that way. But have you hit a century in the 10-10? Uh, no, no, I never hit a century in T10, but I came close, 92. But uh, hoping, hoping that that's one of my goals, to score a century in a T10. So, Timmy, best of luck. You would have selected your 11 already? Yes, yes. Okay. Anything to expect from any individual uh, apart from you? Uh, we have uh, we have a USA player, you know, Kyle Phillip, playing with us today. Um, he, I think, is one of the fastest bowlers in the country. Uh, very top all around there. So, you know, I'm really looking forward for him for the future to, to, to move on in his game and, and be a permanent fixture in US cricket in future to come, but not only in US cricket, but in to feature into T20 competitions around the world. Okay, well, that's it for us here, Timmy. Best of luck, and I wish you good luck. Thank you. Okay, well, that's it, folks, for the interviews. We're going to be doing the coin toss right about now. Let's hear the two captains, I'm the Trinidad and Tobago, and we have the New Yorkers. And uh, Timmy going to be the home team, and we're going to have the coin heads. I'm going to toss it. And you're gonna call in the air. And here we go. Hedge is the call. And heads it is. You're gonna bowl first. You're gonna have a bowl first. Any reason for, for that? No, no, no reason. Just do you like bowl first. We like chase on the runs. Right. Well good luck, sir. Um Timmy, if you would have won the toss, what you would have done? Um I don't think that'll be a question. You know I is Batman. So we all is bad, you know. <laughs> okay, so. so win or lose. Yeah, in a T10, um, a new team coming for play in the this venue here. So runs on the board is runs on the board, you know. If we can get up to a total of 90 to 100, you know, any team, don't matter what cricket, what cricket you play, man. Once a batting team know, hey, we have to go at a run rate of 9, 10 or over. That's a headache oh, over there. So you know. Right away, you know, you put, you, you apply pressure on the batsman. So, you know, we, we're going to go in and try to um, post the total that we need. Okay, well, 100 runs were scored here in the first match last week. And it was overhauled with an over to spare. So, maybe this week you might want to use that as a gauge. Second match was 85. And again, that was overhauled with an over to spare. So, my advice to you is to probably get maybe 101, 102. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, 
that's it from here. Um, Timmy, I'm going to let you get ready. It's only 10-10. Okay. And you're going to be able to get your team for the total on the board. Umpire Bali is ready to go. Bali. Just again, welcome to the Marti Cricket Stadium. And we're going to be on the way with the second match of this series. We have the New York would have won the toss and elected to field first. Again, it's a 10-10 it's a encounter. And we... We're under cloudy skies, but the sun is out. Nothing all is glowy, but it's a good day for cricket. As we see the Trinidad and Tobago invited to take first knock. And the New York All-Stars just coming in from New York. They came in on Friday, so they should have been settled probably by now. And I just want to say good morning to my fellow commentator, Ian. Yes, good morning, Ivor, and good morning to our scorers and everyone in the box here. Good morning to our viewers who are watching from around the world. And uh, thank you guys for joining in. Whether you're joining in on MacTV.com or you're joining on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, we just want to welcome you all. You know, so we are expecting to have a very good game. The weather seems to be very good on the outside. You know, we have a slight wind blowing across the field. But the players, they are all excited and ready to go, as Timmy would have said. You know, it's like little kids. Can't wait to, to touch the play field. <laughs> so TNT All-Stars and uh, opening is Timmy Serge Bali. And uh, like you would have said, he has scored some 47 centuries in South Florida. But he has never scored a century in the 10-10. He has got to 90. But he could be done. A six and a four, ten runs and over. He's starting from the top. So I guess he's going to try to go for all of the marbles. But again, we're, we're in the middle <laughs> of the COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, all of the cricketers are rusty, especially those coming out of New York. Um, they haven't played any cricket whatsoever. Well, Timmy Serge Bali too, the last match he would have played would, would have been in the night cricket. And that too was aborted because of the pandemic. Yes, so Timmy basically have scored a lot of centuries but not in the T10. So I know he would really love to add one to his name today because, you know, he's a very good cricketer and good all owner also. Well, we are underway, and this one is outside the off stump. As we see, Stefan Babalal, he is keeping company with Timmy Serge Bali. So Rampasad is the bowler. He's coming in from the southern end. This time, Timmy he is bold. bowling Drops played on. on. So Timmy has got one of the zeros. Uh, he left off the one on the other zero if he wanted to get a century. So it's one wicket for no one. Timmy gone off the second delivery of this match. And like we said, all the players are rusty. So Timmy walks back a dejected man. And the New Yorkers are going cockaboo. And uh, Ian, you would have something to say about that. Well, definitely the New Yorkers, that's a wicket they would want to get. You know, the Trinidad team, they definitely look up to Timmy. And Timmy basically played a lazy shot, as we can see there. So, as we know, the COVID have affected the players in so many different ways. And on a regular day, that ball would probably be finding itself into the boundary. But on the day, he's out, back in the pavilion. Yes, Timmy seemed as if he was batting with a sledgehammer there. The, the bat came up in slow motion and... Uh, to be honest with you, it was a lazy shot. He was a, and we know Kyle Phillip is an international player. He's a first class player. So he's a good all rounder and he plays for the US as well. Yes, Kyle Phillips, you know, pretty good youngster, pretty good um, bowling action and the speed. You know, he can still develop into a better cricketer. But we see he's a pretty useful all rounder. So. To have a bowler coming in this early, that tells you he can do something with the bat also. Yes, well, he prepares to face now the first delivery. And this time he's outside the arse stump and playing a similar shot to the one that dislodged Timmy Serge Bally. So all three deliveries has gone into the scorebook as a dot. So the Trinidad and Tobago All-Star, they are yet to open their account. Last week, all of the innings started with um, extras and again outside the arse stump. The bowler is very... Um, deceptive. He's that was a quicker one, kept a little load. We could keep us standing up, and uh, the willow is not coming in contact with the ball as far as Kyle is concerned. This is Kyle is going outside the off stump again, and a woof at that one. And 
another dot goes into the scores book. So one delivery away from a wicket maiden. What a way to start. Well, very good introduction you know, of the New York team down here in South Florida. Second ball, you have the captain back in the pavilion. And so and again far, putting the other player under pressure. Very All of the over. delivery was outside the off stump. So his line has been good. His target has been good. And um, a wicked maiden to start the proceedings. Yes, a very good over there. Um, the bowler seems like he has been doing some work all through this COVID, this pandemic season. He seems like he's been at home. Other than last week, we saw a lot of wides. This week, he came right on target. So he probably had been watching us live on Mac TV and basically bringing his game to the field of play. So he's pretty much looking good, the bowler there. Good over. Ram Prasad, one wi wicket, no run. Excellent over. So Jetendra Sandio, he is Jitendra. Shodio is the bowler. Is it the captain? Yeah, captain. Yeah, that's it. That's the captain. Yes, I remember that name. He's going to be bowling right arm, and again, he's going to be coming from a shortened run. So, we're waiting for the other official umpire. So Starting a, a little late. He will be bowling to Stefan Babilal, a very good batsman. I know I play a few games with him for Palm Beach, and he's a very useful batsman, also a very useful spinner. Good all around on a whole. So, this Trinidad team, they still have a lot of batting to come. Well, a good start here from the skipper outside the off to the left hander, and again played and miss perhaps you might have to check to see if there's a hole in the bat except for timmy he wish he would have just left that one outside the off stump got it on the edge and the ball cannoned into his middle stump it was uprooted so I know. that and tobago also are yet to open their account so do this time he's punching on the back foot and they're running through for a quick single and Tyreek Fro would have been interested here, but Kyle with those long legs got in quite comfortably. But who knows? A direct throw would have been interested. So the Trinidad and Tobago All Star have opened the account with a single, and that takes um, Babalal off the mark. Yes, um, Stefan, he definitely is a no nonsense batsman, also. He's going to get this game on the way. It's either he gets some runs or he's back in the pavilion. He's a similar batsman as Timmy. You know, he basically is a good hit off the ball. And I'll see what he'll do today. Well, Kyle has made his intention clear that he's going to be going big early. This time he's playing this one out to the long run. There's um, this coverage there. So he now is off the mark as well. It's two without loss. Ching playing a good cricket shot but can't score. There's a man right in the covers who didn't have to move, and another dot goes into the scores book. Two for one. It's the first of three matches here today. This time he's punching on the back foot again, and they're taking on the arm of the fielder. And again, Kyle is putting on the wheels, and looking uh, somewhat like a Hussein Bolt, except that he's running in, in pads, mittens, and bat. Yes, um, Kyle Phillips is making good use of those long legs, you know, to skip and a jump, and he's at the other end. So, doing pretty good, running in between the wicket, being good between these two batsmen, even though it's just three singles. And he's bowled him! So, we have two wickets to have fallen, and they've gone by the bold route. So, Kyle was on the back foot when he should have been coming forward. And uh, he was bowled at neck and crop. So another disappointment for the TNT All-Star team. They are two weeks down for only three runs on the board. So the hard-hitting Kyle Phillip, who was sent in at the one drop, he faced some six deliveries and only scored the one run. Again, he walks back a dejected man. 
So at least we can say that the New Yorkers are coming in and uh, I had an interview earlier this morning with um, the skipper and he said, well, they haven't been playing any cricket, but like anything else, they came for the win. What a start here by the New York um, team. They basically got rid of the captain. Now they got rid of um, Kyle Phillips who represent the USA here. So basically two of the better players, most experienced are back in the pavilion for the Trinidad team. You know, I know Timmy must have gone to bed uh, dreaming about this game today. And you know, that's not a good start for the Trinidad team. But we'll see what they have in store. All right. So the New York All-Star team, officially, their, their official name is the American Cricket Society. So, and they're the second oldest New York team. So they've been, they're, they're not any newcomers Johnny come lately. They've been going at it from since 1981. So at the end of that over is a loud appeal and... Uh, not given as the umpire is backing away we can see him off screen so he had no intention of giving that one out he was trying to get out of the way it seems so he had no time to replay the decision in his head as far as he's concerned this time this one is up to the batsman uh, yorker link and he's playing it so umpire is bowling his two overs on the trot his bowl of maiden and he's taken the first wicket the prize wicket of Timmy Serge Bally. This one, just, this one is sitting in the air. A direct hit again would have been interested. And this time they're going to be running a single. And all around it was excitement here. So they are squeezing every one they can get now because that's the first Very one nice. given up off of the. They have Wampasad's bowling. He has bowled a maiden in his first um, delivery. So the American Cricket Society All-Star team out of New York, established since 1981. And from all told, they're the second oldest team from out of New York, the, the organization. So we're going to bookmark that name so we can remember it throughout the day. So the South Pa Babalal takes his first strike from the batsman and he comes forward as if to say, well, we are playing a first class match and no worries, still all of eight overs to go. But the current run rate is 1.5 at this time. So it's a T10 encounter. This time he's driving sweetly, but can't pass the man stationed there in the covers. As we come to the end, One more delivery left. I see the umpire was walking off and it seemed as if he asked the Skrillex and Skrillex corrected him and s say one more delivery. This time he's going after him. He's playing an expansive drive outside the off stump, but coming off the inside portion of the bat, went to the short fine leg and yet no one. So what a way to bowl your two allotted overs. Two overs for just one run, for two runs and one wicket. And the two runs, they had to Hustle y for those two ends. Yes, um, great ball in there by Ram Prasad. You know, the skipper could not ask for better over than that. You realize he just say, hey, just come and finish up right here. We're going to keep this screw tighten on this um, Trinidad team. So the captain allowed him to bowl both of his over, and he have done an amazing job getting rid of the captain himself, Timmy Sabali. And very good two over spell there from the bowler. And, you know, he's in the hunt for man of the match so far. Yes, indeed. So, well, in case we, we didn't tell you, Hussein, Tariq Hussein is the batsman who would have replaced Kyle Phillip, the last man to have uh, departed the square. But Hussein here sucked up some three deliveries and he's yet to get off the mark. And Babalal is there on three. He too have sucked up quite a bit of deliveries, some seven deliveries. And uh, it's a uh, 
turnover fee and uh, I can tell you they are way behind the clock if you can ask me but skipper Sodio is going to be continuing so they're bowling the two overs on the trot both opening bowlers this time he's playing it back along the track playing it into the turf yeah runs definitely seem hard to come by here this morning for the Trinidad team you know yes. we know they have very useful batsmen we know these batsmen but yet still they're having problem getting the ball off a square and that's probably the best shot we have seen <laughs> 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 yes, indeed. I think the New Yorkers have something in mind. They would have won the toss this morning and they would have elected to field first. This time he's going at him and he's oh. bowled him. And that's what pressure does to you. We found that um, Babalal was bogged down. He faced some nine deliveries. And on the ninth delivery, he decided to play an aggressive shot. One that was hitting dead center and he perished. I think he looked over in the stand and he looked at the face of the players there and they're like, hey, we need some runs on the board. But, you know, unfortunately for him, that ball was on the wicket. He went for it and he's out bold. So, Stefan is back in the pavilion and, you know, another wicket down for the Trinidad team. With only four runs on the board. Yes, yeah, so four for three and all of the wickets has gone by the bold root timber. So, the players are not using the timber, the willow. They're using, they're allowing the bowlers to use the timber with those three sticks. And like I said, um, two relatively new batsmen are going to be in. That's Antoine. Thank you. Stefan is the one. So Antoine Singh is the new batsman. So both batsmen are on zero, as if we would have just starting the match when both batsmen are at zero but do not be fooled folks what you're seeing on screen is for real it's a 10 10 encounter it's four runs on the board for some free wickets this time he's playing it down to the to the gully position and again can't score well, uh, looking at the game so far, you know, we can't just put it to quarantine that the players did not get to do what they normally would do because the batting team not doing good, but the bowling team is right on spot. And here's going to be some over throws. No, good backing up in the onside there. That one eluded the keeper. The batsman was trying to get off the mark, but he's still there yet to score. That is Singh. So Singh needs to do some singing here. This time he's covering up nicely but can't beat the mid off. He looks stylishly as that over come to an end. Another successful over there for the New York All-Star team. So we're learning from the manager of the um, New York team that basically they've been here over the weekend. They have actually got to play two games. Yes, in Orlando we played yesterday and, and Friday. 235 over game. Because right now in New York there's no cricket. So we were happy to be in host and get a chance to play. Yes, so they got in on Friday. That was my understanding when we interviewed the skipper. And uh, he said they're willing to go and they're ready to take the coveted trophy. That's for all of the marbles and the winner of the game will be getting a trophy as well. So definitely the American Cricket Society is doing an amazing job here. But as you would have heard from the manager himself is that, you know, cricket is a game that you definitely want to get as much practice as possible. You know, you want to get practice inside of the net. You want to also get as much practice on the wicket itself. And they were actually involved in two games. So that probably have helped prepare them for this game here against Timmy. And down here in South Florida, we know Timmy basically his team have not had a game before now so we can see the big difference right there yes well hussein is off the mark because he played this one to the short mid wicket this campus flew for single that brings sing into strike and they're asking for him to do some sunday morning singing this time he's playing this one to the backward point he didn't feel cleanly but the ball did not go too far 
from him. The batsman would be trusted in a single, but did not strike a wide descent him back. Five for three at this, the Mac Cricket Stadium here in Delray Beach. This time he's turning this one off the legs. He's going to get one. Let's see if he's going to be the first double of the match. Yes, they're going to get it quite comfortably. So a little turn off the wrist there by Antoine and managed to get two easy runs, I'd say, which added to the total well needed <laughs> two as Trinidad and Tobago, they're just seven for three in the fifth Why over. So, so getting that from the umpire, it seems like it did not hit the bat. This time the batsman is hitting this one out to the cover sweeper and he's looking for two, but it's a non-existent two. And uh, th yes, a single. <laughs> then the batsman is stroking this one and uh, beautifully knocked down there. And I think it would have been just one in the end because there's a man in the wide, long off position. But it was a good effort there by the fielder in the cover position. Looks like cricket. So they have to scamper everyone. Now they're into double figures for the first time. This time the batsman is coming forward and playing it with soft hands. And they scamper through for an easy single in the end. As that one died in the grass. As the man from the Midwicket region runs in and could not prevent the single. As we come to the end of over number five. We're halfway. One no, more. one more delivery. Bigger pardon. One more. It's 11 for three. So Hussein been there for quite some time. He has batted some six delivery. This is his seventh. Let us see. He's going after him and he's uh, playing one outside the off stump, trying to pull out the boom, trying to do some sweeping there. But he caught air. Well, one thing for sure is that the Trinidad and Tobago team is not failing to miss the ball. It's basically a miss, 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 you know, and probably a stop. Because even the double that they got was basically buys. You know, it's wide. <laughs> So, difficult time here for Trinidad and Tobago team. Yes, indeed. So, 11 for three wickets. The skipper would have bowled and he took some two wickets. So, the adjudicator's eyes are on him. Although, um, the opening bowler would have bowled a maiden wicket. Um, in the wicket column, the skipper would have um, taken some two wickets. So, the former 17-year-old U.S. captain, left armor. He's going to be coming into... The attack. Uh, so, Trenton Carmichael. So, let us see. He's going to be bowling in his cap, it seems. Let's see. So, we see another um, U.S. representative here. So, that tell you the quality of the cricket here. And uh, the Mark T10. And you're going to see the lights of more international players as, as we continue. And so, youngster yeah. so a dot ball so he like the others he would have emulated them 11 oh this time he's going big he's going big and this time he's going out of the square and the first maximum of this 10 10 mac 10 10 it's goes to Antoine. Antoine Singh. So we're saying he's singing the, the Sunday chorus. Well, definitely Antoine, he, he looks at the scoreboard and he realized that you know, they're really in the red. And as a result, he saw that ball in his view and he actually hit that all the way over the bowler's head. Six runs. Good hit there by Antoine. A good cricket shot. I can tell you that there was nothing wrong about that. So he started well with the first delivery a dot and the Singh said I'll have none of that. We have gone past the halfway mark in terms of overs to be bowled, which would be a maximum ten. And on the second delivery, and this time he's going after him again, but this time he's tugging it into the on side, but he's just gonna get one for his effort. As he rolls out to the long on position. So signs of aggression, eighteen uh, for the loss of three wickets here at the Mac Stadium here in Delaware Beach. But the sun is out in all its glory now, Ian. Yes, the sun is out. It's looking beautiful outside. You know. Basically, the wind is blowing, as you can see, the flags, you know, they're 
out there, the players are enjoying this beautiful day. Just good to be out. You know, we've been in with this quarantine, the pandemic. So it's always a fun time to be outside. Yes, we want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Wherever you are, you're in tune to the MacTV.com. And uh, for the viewers, we ask you to spread the word. Let us know that you're looking at live TV coming to you from Delaware Beach. We are 1010 Cricket, and uh, we're trying to start the cricket post COVID 19. This time he's going after him again, but he's going to, and there's going to be some trouble here. Uh, there's going to be trouble, and there's a run out. And this time the batsman, he's all mad, but why would he be mad at this time? Because it was the striker call, the ball was played in front of him. He was on the back foot. There's no way he would have gotten out of this back foot stance to run that quick single. It was not a run. I mean, we know that they need of runs, but you would have seen what he would have done. There was definitely not a run on there, and he had tried it, the ball before, and so he got run out by a no ball as we get in the signal from the umpire. So, you know, second time around, he was not as lucky as the ball before. And that is a cardinal sin because <laughs> That's the way you can get out from a no ball. So it's a free hit going to be in, 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 in place here for the batsman. I hope the umpires with that wicked fault let him know that yeah. it's a free hit. Yes, guys, so at the wicket, we have Akeem Hazel, and he is a youngster out of Trinidad who plays plays for the youth team in Trinidad. So he is now at the crease. And this time he's hitting this one again. There's going to be... There would have been some trouble here, but this time the non-striker wisely stood his ground because, again, it was the, it was the striker's call. And because of the pressure... Maybe put on him from the pavilion. Now he's trying to run a non-existent one. Again, yeah. he was on the back foot. Yes. I couldn't get out of his stance, <laughs> but my word. And this time he's playing this one in the air, but he's not going to have the the power to reach to the two men in the outfield, in the mid-wicket and the long on. So the ball just dropped safely as the batsman scampers through for yet another run. He goes into the 20s now. So we're 20 for four at the end of over number six. Yes, so we can see the Trinidad um, All-Star team is struggling here. Um, we see, though, at the crease is a youngster by the name of Akeem Hazel, and I had an interview with him earlier. He represents the Trinidad U team, so he should be a talented player. So let's see what we're going to have from Akeem. You know, a lot is expected. And just learning from our scorer, who is also out of Trinidad, is telling me that Akeem also represent the West Indies under 19 and as you know West Indies have a very talented bunch we have seen what they did down in South Africa you know so definitely this is a very good youngster to look at so I hope he'll stay at the wicket because they definitely need him at this time yes well the Americans are saying that we are bigger than you and it takes all of Trinidad and Tobago to come up against the one America but we have 50 states to trample the TNT boys, but nonetheless, 24 4 Hussein on strike. He's on three. Let's play some 10 deliveries so you sucked up some some uh, seven balls. You have scored all poles. He's yet to hit a boundary. We have seen one lovely six, the only boundary of the day so far. Outside the off stump, and it lets it go through as if, well, it's a wide that goes into the scorer's book. So if we have seen the first wide of the Yes, so you know, so far, you know, the, the American Cricket Society team have been very well, you know, disciplined in terms of their bowling. And this is the first wide, you know, we gotta give it up to them. They have bowled pretty well. They're now into the seventh over and just one wide. This is a T ten affair. This Good going by them. And Hussein is playing a lovely shot there outside the off stump and he can only amble through for a single. Ian, they're going to need much more than that. Definitely. Um, this game is not going the way that Timmy would have expected. 
as you know he went out early to bat early bat Kyle Phillips early in the order S um, we see Stefan early but yet still the runs ain't coming so they have a lot of work to do between these two youngsters out there Tyreek and Akeem well I beg to disagree with you the ones are coming they have some 22 runs already it's not coming the way maybe <laughs> they may have liked it. Yeah, de definitely. This is not the type of runs that Timmy would want to see. That is just an over for him when he gets going. <laughs> okay, well. So, the society boys are yes, no, yes, no again. So, but this time, um, Hussein was positive about that single and he pulled um, Akeem. pulled Akeem Hazel out of his pose and he stands that as if he was posing for the camera to say come on we need some ones so that single might be very useful who knows i know timmy he's going to be aggressive in his field placing and this time he's going aerial there's a man down there there's a man down there and he takes a catch and he goes there he goes wicket number number four five. number five i beg your pardon the scoreboard didn't turn over so so if you saying was in a spot of bother there. He sucked up some 11 deliveries for his four runs, and he decided to go aerial, but there was a man stationed there. He didn't have to move one inch. So some good captaincy, some good field placing, and what can we say? It's not how you start, it's how you finish. He started with a wide, and he ended with a wicket. I'll take that any day of the week and twice on Sundays. Well, as a bowler, you know, myself, I would say, you know, he went back to his marker and definitely rethink and definitely that's a comeback that you want to see from your bowler you know so as a captain the captain would be pretty much pleased with his bowler he was able to recover from a wide to get a wicket excellent bowling so this america um team So for all our viewers, we just want to welcome you, whether you're watching on Mac TV or you're watching on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, we just want to welcome you guys. Thank you guys for joining in. And if you're wondering um, who is playing here at the ground, it is the American Cricket Society and the Trinidad and Tobago All-Star, which today the star is definitely not shining. I make a correction there. It's not the end of the over. Um, I was reading the wrong scoreboard. <laughs> it's just three deliveries would have gone in that over so on his third delivery he got a wicket he started with with a wide and halfway through he got it right the ball came out of the screws right over the middle but there was a man stationed at the wide long off position he didn't have to move an inch just put his hands above his head mark you if that ball would have gone over his head it would have gone for six yes it was a pretty good hit by the batsman but you know picked out the man he picked the one man that's down on the boundary and sad for him he's back in the pavilion not the place that he'd want to be but that's a story here yes indeed leg bias signal there by the umpire so extras are going up extras six it's closing maybe second top score maybe i think extras yes extras seems to be <laughs> top score in here you know we there was a six hit by um by sing that that was the best part of the innings for trinidad that one clean hit by sing who actually ran himself out yes trying to get on strike had no confidence in um Tyreek. <laughs> yes so he was trying to push a non-existent single the ball was punched on the back foot to the extra cover field and bunt straight to him and quickly too but he decided he wanted to get on strike but he perished this time he's turning his one on the on side but there's a backward square leg in place and the dot again goes into this covers book and they're gonna need much more than that they're not even at a half quarter century yet it's it's an uphill task here you know with just a ball to be bowled to complete the seventh over, 24 for five. Definitely not a place that any team would want to be at this time stage of the game. With just three overs to come and a single ball, you know. 
we just got to see what this Akeem is made of with three overs to go. Well, again, the New Yorkers would have called right this morning. They called heads, and uh, they decided that they're going to field first. And so far, they have taken some five wickets for only 24 runs. And along the way, we have six of those runs coming via way of extras. Well... The task would not have made a difference this morning, as we heard from the captain of the Trinidad and Tobago team, um, Timmy. He said he loves batting, and so definitely that would have been his decision also. But the New York team, they definitely knew the plan. They knew what they were up and about to, and definitely put it in. The Trinidad team have definitely worked out for them, because Trinidad is now 24 for 5 in the seventh over. Current strike rate is 3.4. Well, Carmichael is going to be taking up the attack from the northern end. And he'll be bowling to Maharaj. He's yet to score. He's on. He's going to be on strike, an end, and he's keeping company with Akeem Hazel. Hazel, again, he's sucking up deliveries. He has faced only three deliveries, but those three deliveries could have been 18 runs all sixes but he's back again he's coming back and he's getting an inside edge as this one rolls to the short mid wicket and the scampers through for single and now they get to the quarter century it's 25 for some five wickets yes folks mac tv for the viewers who are on kindly spread the word want to say good morning to oddly watson over there in the connecticut area who is viewing the proceedings now here's a double a weird double <laughs> yes, that one was out of the middle of the bat, so you know, no question about that. So they managed to go through for two easy runs. Well, okay, well, so they've scored off both deliveries so far a single and uh, a two. Remember, the maximum came off of this bowler, Carmichael, but this time he's bowled a faster, flatter trajectory. He's not going to be floating anything up. He would have learned his lesson, I would think. The New York All Star team would have said, S Youngster, you would have represented the under 17. You were the captain of that team. We expect you to do better, not to get the, the ball leaving the square. He's going after him, and it's a good shot. He's, he was aerial, but he split the short third man at the backward point, and yet another double. They're going to need much more than that, Ian. They're into 30. 30 for 5. Yes, definitely. They're going to need some boundaries. You know, they're going to find the fence here much often than they are. They're basically just turning over the strike, if you ask me, and that's not good enough for this Trinidad team. Yes, well, they're going 1-2. One, 1-2. Two, one, two. So some 6 runs from this over so far. Two legal delivery left in this over. Flatter again. This time he's pulling this one and he's getting it. One bounce for. And that one goes over the fence and... Oh, he goes for 6. So there's another maximum, and again, uh, Carmichael is the guilty person there who would have um, given up a boundary. Yes, Carmichael seems to be the one that is basically um, taking the hit here, but the team is still doing pretty well. Uh, American Cricket Society is basically playing the best game here, you know, and the game has been played between them and the Trinidad and Tobago All-Star team, which is captained by S Timmy Serbali. So we have a good game on here. And he's bold. Bold! <laughs> that's a swing and a miss again, guys, and that's right in the middle stump. And another wicket down for Trinidad and Tobago. And apart from the one out, all of these guys been hit hitting timber. And Carmichael, we have to say that's good for him, good for his spirit, because he has given up the only two maximum of this inning so far. But he's in the wicket column, and I know he's going to be a happy man. So that's the end of the over from Carmichael. Good comeback there to get a wicket with his final delivery. It's now 36 for 6 after 7 overs or 8? Eight, 8 overs. So only 2 overs to go and they're still yet to complete half a century.
So Zhang Li is the new batsman. But he would not be on strike because that was the end of over number eight. Yes, former, former U.S. captain, of course. This time he's pulling this one, and the ball cannon into his body as he swivels and tries to pull it around to the backward squillic position. But a dot goes into the scorer's book. We have not seen a, a, a four boundary for the day, but we've seen two, maximum six. It's 36, and every time I see 36, I remember the good old Robert Nestor Marley. He would have departed this earth at age 36. Young man, talent. This time he's going after him, but he's not going to get much for it because the bowler himself sprints like a spring chicken. These guys are, are you sure they're coming out of New York? They have fresh legs. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're looking sharp. I'm telling you, there's they put a stranglehold on the TNT All-Star team who would have sent him to bat earlier in the day. And uh, with the loss of Timmy, Serge Bally, the captain, on the second delivery, and then all hopes was rest in the hands of Kyle Phillip, and he too was another disappointment for TNT. But not so for the New York All-Star team. They kept the hammer down and if I can say that on TV they kept the knee on the neck of the TNT boys I don't think you want to use that at, at this time <laughs> <of the day>. <laughs> 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 the timing is right with that knee and then, you know, all right well I got yes well I can say I'm going to say now that these folks are going to have to ease some of this pressure of the TNT local boys here uh, as we They're tightening the screw some more. <laughs> well, well, I don't know if this is a. This is the first quarter of a basketball game. It's thirty-eight for six. This time the batsman is going after him again, but he's going underground and he's not going to get much for that. We have not seen a boundary. Four. But let us see if you're going to get into the 40s. As that was the penalty met over. Now we're going to see the final over of the inning. Now, Ian, I'm going to put it to you. They need 11 runs to get to 50. Do you think that they can get to the 50 mark? Well, I think they may just make it to 49. I'm giving them 10 runs. A run is not good for me. Not in my So we have some representatives here from the U.S. team. And this time is taken. That's a beautiful caught there. It was a good shot. It was played on the back foot. And uh, he was going past the fielder. He stuck his left hand up and uh, hauled it in baseball style. And uh, that's one of the wickets we would have seen taken other than the bowl. We had a run out and we have all bowled. And now we see a beautifully taken catch, Ian. Yes, beautiful taken there. And, uh, and that was actually the captain, let's say, of the U.S. team. So, very good catch. And another dismissal 
Trinidad and Tobago is definitely in some trouble here. Nine. Completion of the ninth over, so they're 39 for six in the ninth over. So again, Ian, I'm asking you if you think that they're gonna make the 50 mark. You said you'll give them 49, so we still need to get that other 10. Yes, definitely. They're, they're struggling all the way. I don't see where they're going to just pick it up in this last over. All the batsmen seem very rusty. But indeed, that was a textbook catch. It came to him fast and furious to his left. He just stuck that left hand up and uh, pulled it in. It was a really, really beautiful catch. Great catch. And as you can see, you know, this player is not a normal player. So, you know, he's very experienced. Okay. So you're not missing any cricket as the new batsman is in South Paw. We're into the last over of the inning. Still on still on thirty-nine. It's a ten ten affair. So they're trying to get the, the field placing right for the south par as it settles in. Yeah, that's a beautiful shot there by Camille Ali, you know, very useful batsman for Trinidad, also a useful spinner, you know, we see him coming in in dying moments here, you know, the asking rate right now would be like nine runs, that's what I this one is that. So, Trinidad and Tobago, they're trying and to, was another to double get to the And he and is a run out trying to attempt another double. So, another wicket by the run out route. Yes, another wicket down. Um, Trinidad and Tobago definitely in some trouble here. You know, that 49 is looking very challenging right now because that's the total that I give them. 49 off their 10. And they're now 41 for 7. And we're in the 10th over. So they're into 40, 40 days and 40 nights. So I'm telling you, I don't think they're going to get to the 50. You can hear me? So... So eight, it's a strong possibility that they can all out. You just need two more. So how many deliveries left? So we have two legal deliveries left in the inning, and they're just at 40. Trinidad and Tobago would be very, very disappointed. But runs on the board is runs on the board. And if you know Timmy Serge Bally, he is going to defend that with all his might. So I don't think that the New Yorkers should lay on their laurels thinking that the match is over, done, and dusted. But I'm going to have us talk with the skipper who would have bowled um, his two overs for some free runs and taken two wickets. And he's bowled him. Knocked him over. The Trinidad and Tobago team is in all sorts of trouble. The man that they sent out that they thought would probably would have bring them a few extra runs in the dying moment is Camille Ali. But here we see Camille Ali is heading back into the pavilion. Timmy would not. There's still a strong possibility that they can all out with one legal delivery left. Some nine wickets have fallen, so 40 is on the board as... Well, Skipper, well done. Um, I can say 40. You called right this morning. You decided to put the Trinidad and Tobago into bat. So did your game plan go as planned? Yeah, it go very well to our plan because we strength right about now is our bowling at this point. So to use it 
and ball fours. And try to get them on the 60 runs out of target. 60 runs out of your target. So, but you're not going to waste on your laurels as if to say, well, it's done and dusted. No, we got to bat this 10 over. You never know how many 10 overs. They can come and get quick wicket. Just, we just got to go, go now and plan how to get far two overs, far the runs in the 10 overs. Okay. And the last wicket there, the batsman, it was only nine wickets was down. And, um, the, the the last batter did not come into bat. So what would have transpired there, as far as you know? Uh, we was waiting. Umpire said that out ten wicket out. So we had to go with umpire decision. Umpire said ten wicket out, ten wicket out. Okay. Well, I think well with one legal delivery left, okay. I think well we would say well, the maximum they could have gotten from that was six, or they could have been out. But you were on a roll to get all ten wickets. Yeah, yeah, we were on a roll. But uh, the umpire said ten wicket out. We didn't want to get out. So the umpire said ten wicket out. Okay, so we got that. That's a mistake that's gone in the book. Let's, okay. You start with your bowling, you start with the slow bowlers, and you were rewarded on the second delivery. And then when you yourself started bowling, you got a wicket in your first over. Yeah. Again, was that the plan? Yeah, we start, the plan was start with a spin and pace, but we start with a spin of force and see how they was going. So then we decided for us to start with the next spinner instead of the pieces, hold back the pieces to the end. Got a wicket to ball a little bit, spin at the ball, skid on. And if you bowl your fight the fast way, it will be more easier for the batsman. So we said, decided for bowl the spinners at the starting. Well, very well. Well, I'm going to leave you to go and get your batting lineup organized. Best of luck. And I hope that you do well for yourself. You did very well in the bowling yourself. Somewhat. Two wickets? Yeah, two wickets. Okay. Yeah, two wickets for free ones. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. That's it. We're going to take you back to Master Control. <laughs> You have to defend a small total. What went wrong? If anything went wrong, um, I think in the first couple of overs, the ball skid on. You know, with the new ball, um, the pitch was the uh, straw was a little wet, and the ball skid on. You know, we didn't prepare ourselves for it. We but think well, did it? We didn't pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, there we go. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. The ball skid on a little bit with the new ball early on, you know, the, the actual turf was a little wet. I haven't said that what, what total we made there, we're going to try our best to defend it. Well, of course, I don't think you're going to give up because like we were saying in the come box, that um, even though it is a small total, you're going to give it your best shot to defend. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to try our best. Um, our lead piece out here, Kyle Phillip. The fastest bowler in the United States of America, clocking in the 90s. He's going to go all out and blast out a 3-4 wickets. There you have it, folks, that the skipper would have said he's depending on Kyle Phillip, the fastest bowler in all of North America. He expects him to pluck out at least four of the ten wickets. Well, we're getting ready for the one chase here. And um, 44 is the targeted... 43 to win? Okay, so <laughs> take one down. So, Trinidad and Tobago would have scored some 42 runs from their allotted 10 overs, and they would have lost all of nine wickets. So, Troy Haley, accompanied by the skipper. So Sugdio and this time a dot goes into the scores book and wide as a matter of fact. So we're following the trend of last week, Ian. Yes, so right away we see Kyle um, Phillips. He starts with a wide ball. That was the trend last week. But we realized that the um, America Cricket Association Society, they came out and they were spot on. So Kyle got to get it together early. Not much runs to defend. Load appeal and given. And uh, umpire Bali took an eternity to give that one, but the ball was outside the off stump, moving away from the batsman. He wafted it, got an edge, went straight to the keeper. So they're following the trend where the second delivery of this morning would have saw the downfall of Timmy Serge Bali. Now, again, well, the first legal delivery, but the second uh, of the match bought a wicket so it's one for one what a start what a start you know this seems to be the game 
to watch. So guys, you know, thank you guys for watching, you know, on Mac TV. Those of you that are watching on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, we just want to welcome you to this game here today at the Mac Cricket Stadium in Delray Beach. You know, we have two very good teams, a team out of New York that is the American Cricket Society. They had displayed some great cricket earlier, bowling out the Trinidad and Tobago team for 42. So now there's a target of 43. And right away we see Timmy. He is right on target because he said he's going to defend this run. And he's starting pretty well. Yes, indeed. One for one. At least um, first legal delivery. So Kyle still have five legal delivery left in this over. And Timmy, in a quick interview, going on to the field, said he's depending on Kyle, an international player. He's been contracted in the Canada League. He plays um, for the... 2020 league over there in Canada. So he bowls off a short and run. And he's this one is coming off the pads. Let's see if you get some willow onto that. We'll wait for the umpire signal. And they're running two, and that was sloppy there by the wicket keeper. Real sloppy cricket. And uh, they realized that the wicket keeper was not up to the stump, and the ball was coming in away from the stump. So they, in essence, in baseball, you say, stole a one. Yes, 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 yes. Um, good two runs there from. Oh, and this one was quick. Making some height as he passed the batsman. And uh, it's a wide signal there by umpire Bally. And uh, some of the feelers are wondering. But it seems as if the batsman took evasive action. It was not over his head for sure. But the umpire would have called. Um, White, so total goes up four extras have made their way up to two. And early in this inning, we would have seen a double, yes, early. So it's pretty good run in there by the America Cricket Association team, you know, much different from the earlier game. With the Trinidad running between the wicket was very poor, yes, we didn't see a double until maybe about the sixth over or, or so, and then we saw some run outs along the way. So it shows all the rustiness with the local boys here. And uh, in terms of the fielding, we would have seen these New York All-Star team would have um, would have showed you that they're fit and ready and they came out to play. But again, the captain would have said that their strength is in their bowling. But nonetheless, he would have said that the target was about 60. They wanted to keep the team under 60. So keeping them under 50 should be a plus. Yeah, so they did their job basically keeping the Trinidad and Tobago team under 50, which I was giving them a target of 49. They fall short by seven runs, and it's going to be a big challenge for them to defend this game, and especially with the way Kyle have started. he been basically trying to work up some sp pace, but he's spraying all the way down the leg side, so we see he's been called for at least three wide balls in this over so far. Yes, not good. He would have bought it his run-up on the two previous deliveries, and this time he decided to go through, and then the waiter went off. This time he's getting it right, and the batsman covers up and plays it back along the turf, and Kyle threatens to throw the, the wicket down. So Kyle is bowling up a short and run. He's a tall man. He's some maybe 6'6". Six, six. He's bowling and playing in a, with a mask on. Let, don't know how difficult that would be. This time again, it's down the leg side, and um, outright arm of umpire Ballet says you have to reload and come again. So, trying to defend 43 is not the way to start, Ian. Yes, definitely. I would expect Timmy to at least go across to Kyle and just have him to take off a little of the pace, find the line. At this point, you really want to bowl wicket to wicket. They miss, you hit. That's much better ball right there. And again, the batsman covers up. And Kyle is seems to be struggling. He's down in the batter's face. Never had a word or two with him. I'm not sure, but he was all the way down in his face. And his hand is still suggesting that he's either speaking to the keeper, the captain, or the batsman. But it's bat and ball. That's what should be doing the talking. He has a mask on, so I don't think what is coming out is very audible. This time outside the off stump, and a no ball called there by umpire Bali. So this time he's going 
the no ball root in terms of extra so it's a free hit coming up and uh, Kyle has been struggling he has a wicket yes that one that was nicked off the first legal delivery second which he would have bowled and since then his radar have gone off more often than not Ian yes definitely Kyle um, Phillips is struggling for farm here and we can see it in his run-up we see twice he had to stop and this time he's hitting this one in the air away from the mid on fielder and they're thinking two and they will get two as the flow comes in now to the bowler's end so in terms of the no ball not going through the boundary ropes it was a good ending for Kyle but it was a very long over to be honest with you some 57 balls are no it would be 56 balls would be left Ready. Uh, with just 38 runs to go yes so pretty good start here. So we would expect that the um So I guess we're going to have Stefan Babilal that's going to be taking the ball. And he's basically a good spinner, a useful spinner. He's coming, coming in and, and here it is where this one was cannon into the fielder's knee. But at least he saved a couple of runs, I can, I can say that. But it was a beautiful cricket shot. It was played, just played to point comes in and this time he's going after him and he's getting an inside the edge as he tried to pull out broom to sweep this one over the deep mid wicket area there's acreage down there as we have three men in the onside and they're within the 30 yard marker nine for one 34 more needed this time he's playing outside the off stump and he plays it to backward point who runs to his left knocks it down can't score so well Bobo Lad, who, who would have opened the batting, he didn't trouble much of the, the scoring because they did not score much. This time he's playing this one in the air and away from the couple fielder. It's going to be another easy double. We take the total into double figures now. It's all the ones on the board. 11 for 1, 1, 1, 1. Yes, pretty good going here by the um, American Cricket Society. They're basically taking on the challenge and they're playing safely as we see, you know, playing each ball on the merit. And definitely they would have walked out there with a plan. We see it when they're bowling and now they basically have a target that is below the target that they thought they would manage. So good going by them. Bring the skipper in this time he's getting an inside edge going past the leg stump as fine leg comes into play. And uh, a one goes into the scorebook, 12 for one. And um, the sun is out in all this glory now. We can say welcome to South Florida. The wind has really blown away those heavy clouds that were really threatening this morning. Had a few sprinklers on the way here, but so far so good. Hopefully we'll have a lovely day of cricket. So stick and stay, folks. We have two other matches to follow this one. This one is down the leg side, and that one was a gift, uh, which he did not accept. He should have been leaving the park in a hurry, but it was full into the pads. And uh, over number two has come to an end. So just some two and three ones coming from that over, Ian. So good comeback. Yes, um, but definitely that last ball should have gone um, over the boundary. It was basically a gift, you know, I would say, and a... Regular cricket day, that ball would be somewhere in the stands. Yes, so that was a miss there, but still going at 12, six runs per over. Target of just 43 runs. I say it's good going. Early days. Yes, well, a required run rate of only 3.9. They should be, you know, easy going. But in cricket, you never know. We never thought that nine wickets would have fallen in this 10-10 um, match. But again, we want to say kudos to Makurishi for bringing out the boys from off the couch. 
and bringing cricket here in all of North America. And I think it's the only one of its kind. And folks, for you who are viewing, we ask you to just share the link and spread the word that those folks who are at home would get away from some of the happenings that are happening on TV, COVID-19 and uh, other activities where the police are involved. You can just look at cricket, lovely cricket. Coming to you, compliments, MacTV.com. Yes, uh, we had uh, really... Yeah, so Timmy, he decided on taking the ball pretty early, you know. If it's going to be done by anyone, why not be the captain? So let's see if he'll be able to deliver on his words. He says he's going to defend it. Let's see. Well, he's coming round the wicket, going between the umpire. This time this one is in the air, but it goes beyond the 30-yard mark where those two feelers are at mid-wicket and mid-on. They're inside the 30-yard circle, and he is another double. So the New Yorkers are fit as a fiddle, Ian. They're not taking the pressure off. When there's a double, they're running hard for their double. Well, we see that they're basically playing cricket on the merit, you know. They're running the singles, they're taking the doubles once it's there. They bowl well, and they're basically playing good cricket here. Good cricket shot. So this camp is through for an easy single. So. So, Timmy, he has kept it within the boundary ropes, but I think he's going to be searching for wickets. That's the only thing, that's the only way they can win this match in terms of all of the 10 wickets. I do not think they'll be able to just keep them to a minimum. Here is another single out in the off. Some the batsman was on the back foot. That one keeping a bit low. So, Timmy taking pace off, and uh, unlike Kyle, when he would have bowled some four, five. Um, Extras well, four wides and uh, uh, and a no ball. That was a cardinal sin. This time he's going after him, playing it out to the long off position, and again the ambles through for a single. But uh, that's all that's required. Singles can do it from here on in. Yeah, singles could do it and still have over to spear. So the America Cricket Society team, they're playing their game, and they're just taking it single by single, and yes. they'll walk off the winner today. Well, Timmy's yet to bowl a dot. There's ones here. It's going to be one. He's getting very close to the boundary as the cameraman doing some good work there. Followed the ball all the way down to the boundary and yet another double. So they've scored from every single delivery here from Timmy Serge Bali so far, but he has not bowled an extra. So. <laughs> yes, he. A better start than Kyle. For sure. By far away. This time he goes over the wicket to the right hander. And going after him, he's going big, he's going big, really big, and he's out of the park. And there goes the first maximum of the of the inning. I think Timmy will pull himself up that it's over. So that was a final delivery, and that ball is, I think that one is over in the water somewhere there. And now you can see a new ball being thrown on the field. So Timmy being hit out of the attack and out off the ground. So trouble here for Trinidad and Tobago. As the America Cricket Society here, 25 for one in over number three. So Timmy has been a bit expensive there. Some 13 runs coming from his over, and the partnership has gone up to 24. Well, definitely, I think Timmy will pull himself from the over. You know, he been hit outside of the park, and that was a massive hit there. Yes, so it was 2-1-1-1-2-6. One, 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 they have scored from every delivery, and they didn't finish in the fashion in which he would have liked. So Timmy is not having a good day. He has been out for a second ball duck, and now he came on in his first over, and he gave up some lucky 13 runs. Poor start by Timmy. Well, as a captain, we expect the captain to lead by example, but neither in his batting or his bowling he's showing any of that, so... He may have some work to do, you know, may have another game before the day is over. So let's see if he'll be able to recoup. But this game seems to be a little bit outstretched. So Singh is going to be the new bowler. This 
is a load of peel and he's given him. And you see. Well, second wicket to have fallen, and um, 25 for two. The new batsman in now is uh, Pushad. So, with 40 balls to be bowled, 18 runs, and the America Cricket Society will walk home in victory if they can do that. Well, if that's your prediction, we'll just uh, take it. And he is a wide, is an another cardinal sin. When you're defending, just some 43 runs you can't afford to have so many ones in the extras column but the new yorkers in the earlier interview this morning they said they're here and they came to win they said it's pretty cold in new york at this time of the year and this time they're saying yes no it was a run but they're they're in a position where they can ref refuse a run trust yes me. definitely you know 17 runs to win 39 balls to be bowled mm. you know you'd consider yourself in a comfortable pos position with just two wickets down you know, it's still a way to go, but you'll see they're, they're looking the better of the two teams at this point. Yes, um, this one is making a little bit of height there. Big keeper and didn't collect cleanly as he jumped on him at the last moment. Ooh, and this time, uh, ball went back towards the bowler in the air and he cannoned off his leg. Must have hit the, the, the hit the bat of the the, back, the batter's bat, but he came back in a hurry, uh, just a flick of the wrist. So Ganesh, he is on 13. He comes in to strike, and most cricketers always want to get off the dreaded 13. And this time he's hit it in the air, but away from the fielder down, and the long off position. So he's. 14 from 11, so that's a good strike rate there for the young man. And from my understanding, Prasad, who is at the wicket on one, we understand that he's coming off 100. Yesterday they were up in Orlando playing some lovely cricket. So we know they have taken to this game all of that practice from yesterday, you know. So he's at the wicket, so we're expecting big things, but not much runs to showcase. <laughs> well, I would like to find out... Um, how many overs they would have played for him to score 100? I don't think it would be a 10 10. Would it, was it a 10 10 game? No, it was not a 10 10 game. That's our understanding. So, congratulations to the young man. He's coming off a uh, off, um, 100, but because of the Trinidad and Tobago poor performance in the batting, he would not have a chance to score anyway, not even a 50, because the overall score that is required for victory is only a meager 43. And at 2.5 runs for over. That's yes. I would say taking candy from a baby. 
just need to keep the rickets. So just 15 runs, you have 36 balls. And again, every time I see 36, I always remember Robert Nesta Marley. He departed Earth. And this time he's hitting this one in the air and over the head of the batsman. And we're going to see the first boundary of the inning. So four. So that's a nice looking cricket shot. He measured the, the guy on the mid off position and he was over his head and he was in no danger of getting out because Timmy is on the attack. We just have that that two men out of the circle, three men as a matter of fact. You have a yes, that ball was timed so sweet by Karen Ganesh. You know, time wound was perfect. He just got to the ball and just execute that shot over the cover, four runs in the boundary. Ooh, this one keeping low. And Kyle is asking a question. And uh, umpire is saying not out. I think he must have touched the, brushed the pad on the way. Must be his toes. <laughs> <laughs> and the umpire said, very low. umpire said he's not out. <laughs> and, uh, and the doctor said, you're dead, you're dead. The doctor said, you live, you live. So... Ghani's played a lovely shot, the previous delivery. He is on 18. He's only taking some 13. This time the batsman is covering up as Kyle, quite pacey, bowling back of a length. And again, he's speaking to the batsman as if to say, well, your duty is to hit the ball, but the batsman should be saying, your duty is to hit the pegs or to get me <laughs> away from here. But if you can defend <laughs> 43 and we are 32 for two, well, I think you're a better man than me. But there's a partnership of seven. And this time he turned his one of the pads as the wicket keeper went round and uh, collects. So Garnish goes up to 19 from 15. I think Kyle was asking the batsman for the ball earlier. Why did he try to kick it with his toe? Yes. <laughs> have to be pulling out all the stops to say who's going to be the man of the match and this time a lovely shot but there's a third man in place square of the wicket and he goes down to him they're thinking too but they would have been flirting with danger that would be suicidal so we have a partnership of nine runs between these two here 34 for two That one is well played backward of square, you know. But one went up on one leg and hit that one down to the boundary four runs. So that's another four coming off the over of Kyle. So we just need five more runs and America Cricket Society will be walking home with this one. Are you guys taking the point? How about that? Um, I will say that uh, we have a second game to play. And cricket is being played on the field, not in the pavilion. So we have to wait and see how the second game progresses. Well, as we speak here, I'll say you're in the driver's seat. You know, one game in and one win, looking pretty good. I hope I didn't call it too early, but that's a way to go if Timmy gonna pull this one back. So guys, you're watching Cricket Lovely Cricket here in Delray at the Mac Cricket Stadium. You know, we're live on Mac TV. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So just want to thank you guys for tuning in. These batsmen look pretty much comfortable at the wicket. Building up a partnership. Watsman well, went for a mighty heave there, but he missed. Antoine is the new bowler. So there's no ball being called, and they should 
easily go through for two runs here. So that would leave us with three runs. So this one seems like it's going to be an easy taking by America Cricket Society. Only two runs required, 28 balls to be bowled. We won't see those balls are that overcoming to completion really. It's two runs and they're probably a hit from a win. And that was a big miss by the keeper there. It could have been stumped out, but a miss. Batsman got beaten, keeper got beaten too. And that's it. Game is over, so. This one being taken home. score is level so there you have it guys the winning single So that's game, set, match. All right, gentlemen, we are here again to adjudicate the man of the match. And we have Mr. Garnish here, who would have scored some 23 not out, and he would have taken some two wickets along the way. We want to say congratulations to you. We're going to have the presentation right about now. Okay. So it seems as if you were in good form with both bat and ball. Have you been playing some cricket? No, we had a game yesterday, but uh, no cricket. But it's good to be out playing again. And uh, with this weather, it's perfect. Perfect for you. Okay, well, you have another match to play after this? Yes. Are we playing with you guys? Or? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, no, no, the third match. You're going to be coming back to play the third match. So I'm going to leave you with enough in your tank to make sure that um, you, you have enough for the following game because you have another game after this so congratulations on your performance sir and best of luck along the way thank you